I've always been told to love myself. I try, but I can never understand. It's hard. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've got my boots on, my jacket and I'm ready to go down to my university to show you around the campus where I studied and did my postgraduate in uh, marketing, economics, business and finance and also international politics. So let's get started and let's get going. This is the entry into the new section of the university campus. This says this plaque was unveiled by the Council of Film Eggs of the City of Burundara at the investiture of the centenary time capsule to mark 100 years of Swinburne and the laying of its foundation stone, 19 September 2008. The university was built in 1908 and I'll give you a bit of a historical background once I get up to the library. This is where the students can come and sit just outside the library. We're here right in front of the library but of course being a weekend it's not open right now. This is the McPherson's engineering building and this is part of the original um, old part of the university. Here you can get through this area to go to the train station. Okay, Swinburne University um, is part, this is part of Hawthorne campus, so literally there's about five campuses. The university has its origins here in Hawthorne, which was the first campus which was established in 1908 um, in the Melbourne suburb of Hawthorne by George Swinburne. Uh, it attained uh, university status in 1992 because before that it was a university or college of technology. The university now is over 100 years old and it had a premise to provide technical education to a sector of the society in the eastern suburbs which was otherwise denied further education. For over a century Swinburne has committed to an industry engagement and a social institution. Um, whilst I was working for the bank, I actually did a four-year course during the night here. So I would be working during the day and then I would come from six o'clock and 10 o'clock and do nighttime classes just to further my um, understanding of international politics, international trade, I was doing marketing as well. It took me four years to do that diploma, but luckily for me, the university was just around the corner from where I lived. And given that you know I'd be tired from doing a 10-hour, you know, working day, I'd then come three days a week to the university. Like I said, from about seven to ten to do my study. So I have fond memories of this place, and. Um, I thought I'd show you. So I'm going to now take you to the front part of the university, which was the original building, and that's on um, Burwood Road. So let's go. This is the original front part of the university. This is the chemistry department, as you can see, CH. And here is a sign that says, You made it to Swinburne Hawthorne. This is the front original part of the university and if I go further up um, north of Burwood Road you'll see the now the new section of the university. This is all the new section now. Swinburne University of Technology. I'm walking back home now I'm going through the back streets to get to my house but I'll also show you the back end of the university where the uh, back end of the library is and also the original back end of the building um, and the original icon of its name um, Swinburne University so let's go there this is the back end of the library and as you can see this is the old part of the building as well 
which is right there as you can see it's hidden by it's hidden by a tree but that's the original signage as a kid I'd walk down this lane not just to go to the university but even as a child when my father would take us to the swimming pool we'd walk down this lane this one-way street and these trees were, were, were full of plum trees that were overhanging the railway fence and my father and I and my brother we used to come here with bags and just fill the bags full of wild plums and they were just scattered all over the ground because there was just so many and during the summertime when they were so ripe they would just fall onto the ground and you'd just see this splatter of red on the asphalt they're just some of the memories of my childhood in this area and as you can see these are massive trees so I'm back home now I hope you enjoyed going down memory lane with me to my old university. I couldn't take you to Melbourne University because it's just too far to go and I wouldn't have wanted to ride my bike down there. So perhaps um, sometime down the stage I'll take you there as well. But for now, this university is sort of the closer to my um, house. So please don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell for all the upcoming videos and I'll check you out in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.